<laughs> That's Bear, greeting a stranger who just knocked on the door of his home in Mount Moriah. The seven-month-old Rottweiler Labrador mix is a gentle puppy, but he's apprehensive of strangers. So when officers showed up in the wee hours just after 5 a.m., Bear's owners believe it's very unlikely they made their presence known. I mean, they had to sneak through this house for my dog not to bark. He'd creep up over those stairs because he do, he barks at everything. It's a quiet street in a quiet town just outside Corner Brook. Courtney Pike and her partner, Andrew Dumphy, were sound asleep Saturday night. Pike says she woke up, thought she heard people outside. Her window was open. And at first, and she thought nothing of it. So I kind of just chopped it up to like people being outside the house, getting ready to maybe go fishing or something. And so I just kind of went back to sleep. Well, I tried to go back to sleep. And then I could hear him talking again, and Bear made another little bark. And I said, Andrew, I think there's someone in our house. And he said, there's no one in the house, babe. Go back to sleep. He said, you're probably dreaming. And I was like, you're probably right. And uh, then we could hear someone at the top of the stairs. And they just yelled out hello, so it wasn't, this is RCMP, nothing, it was just hello. And Andrew jumped out of bed because he heard a strange man's voice in the house, so he ran out and it was two police officers walking down our hallway. Pike says the officers asked about a missing girl, someone the couple didn't even know, and then they left. That's when their 11-year-old daughter came upstairs and told them about what she had experienced. They opened up her bedroom door and she woke up to the flashlight shining in her face, like up like this. So she couldn't even see who it was. Only that there's two men there asking her all these questions. And to me, their first question should have been, where's your mother? Where's your dad? Like, where are your parents? But no, they were bombarding her with questions about this girl. Has she ever been in this room? Is she in this house? And the band said, I don't know who you're talking about. The RCMP would not do an interview, but in a prepared statement said they were responding to an early morning report of a missing person, which led them to Pike's home. Police say, after a sustained period of knocking, doorbell ringing, and verbal communication, police entered the residence through an unlocked door, verbally announcing their presence. Not so, says Pike. They have to follow the law as well. Like, they just can't do whatever they want. Like, if it, Andrew told them the other day, like, if that was him and he walked into someone's house looking for someone, he would have been charged with trespassing. He wouldn't have gotten away with it, so what gives them the right to come into our home? Even if they are RCMP. Like, it, it gives them no right. It was, it was not a fun situation to be in. As shaken as she is over this incident, Pike is adamant this thing doesn't happen again to another family. She has since contacted a lawyer and is in the process of filing a complaint against the RCMP. Troy Turner, CBC News, Mount Moriah.